Two baby Komodo dragons live at the Phoenix Zoo. These real-life dragons live a real interesting life, from their intriguing diet to their struggle to stay alive. Lonnie Brandstutter, a reptile zookeeper, says their diet changes as they grow. When they're juveniles, like the ones we have, they eat, you know, small rodents. Um, when they're even smaller, they started out on uh, insects, crickets, um, roaches, things like that. And as they get larger, their prey items get larger. But growing up isn't easy. The baby Komodos hang out in the trees all day. Um, that's because wild, when they're born, they are a nice meal for adult Komodo dragons who will actually eat the babies. So as soon as they hatch out of the egg, they run straight up into a tree and they stay there. I mean, they'll go down eventually and get food. They can't go outside because they're too good at climbing. Um, once they're larger, they can't climb as well and they don't, they're not as uh, prone to climb. Ryan Elms, another reptile zookeeper, reaches into the biology of the animal. Dragons are ectotherms, so what that means is they need outside source to regulate their body, g to burn um, calories, and once it's reached that point, it'll go back in the shade, and it just fluctuates back and forth. Baby Komodo dragons are on their own. So maybe a lot of people are used to like, maybe like a dog that has uh, puppies. The puppies are really nurturant towards their mother. When a Komodo dragon hatches out of its egg, it's on its own. Um, the mom might even eat it if it gets too close. A dangerous life fitting these real life dragons. This is Ezra Enton. And I'm Hiba Halim for Spot 127.